Why does antivirus software detect most cracks as pub or as malware? Now, the answer isn't so straightforward, but we will touch upon four points that are relevant here. Point number one is an actual similarity to a certain malware code and malware techniques. For instance, some cracks require injection, so they dynamically change how the software works and they use injection to do that. Now, injection is something that clean software doesn't do, usually. Some cracks, depending on how they are done, they might actually look like virus infections because they patch the legal software and this patch might use code caves or something similar that also virus code does. So these could be detected as well. The second reason is that cracks are illegal and that has some consequences for us detecting them as clean. Um, actually, we cannot detect them as clean. If someone sends us a file that is a, an illegal software and asks us if it is safe to use this and we reply to them, hey, it's safe, you can use this software and commit an illegal act, then this is seen as aiding you in doing something illegal. And we are not allowed to do that. So usually the um, standard reply is, this is riskware and this file will be detected as riskware. And in such cases, you will see a pub verdict with riskware and hack tool. The third reason is that cracks are not checked for false positives and are not tested against false positives. And that has to do with reason number two, because this is illegal software, we do not consider it in any of the false positive testing. And technically, since cracks cannot be verdict as clean, they are actually verdict as graver because they are illegal, there's technically no false positive possible. So in our false positive definition for our antivirus product, it's not a false positive if it's illegal. And the last reason that cracks may be detected by antivirus software is that a substantial amount of cracks actually contains malware. If you have any questions about antivirus products and how they work and why they do certain things the way they do, just post them below the video and I might do an FAQ video about it. So if there are enough questions for that kind of purpose, but I will definitely reply below the video. If you want to learn malware analysis from the ground up, please check the link in the video description below. It contains a coupon link to my Udemy course for beginners.